Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News, and I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be our video on the NHL team preview for the Florida Panthers. And the Panthers, they're going to be in an interesting division this year that has a lot of uh, middle ground teams in it with them, the Predators, uh, obviously the Hawks and Wings would be at the bottom of that division with the Hawks having a lot of unfortunate injuries to start their season. But the Panthers are going to be interesting. I think the first key for me to their season is Sergei Bobrovsky stepping up and playing like the Bob that everybody knows he can be. Uh, he obviously needs to be better than what he was uh, last year. And uh, he obviously uh, knows that he needs to be significantly better than what he was last year. Um, an interesting thing, obviously, I found out today um, when looking at their team is that they seem to have had a falling out with Keith Yondo. Obviously, he's not the best on the defensive zone. For some, that might be an understatement. I've just always really liked the guy because one of the best things for somebody's asset is availability, um, and he obviously has had that. He's played over 800 straight game, and he had 45 points in 69 games last year. That's not bad at all, in my opinion. So it's weird how I think they've had a, a big falling out with him. Uh, that struck me a little bit odd, but, you know, it is what it is. But Bob's the big key. In 50 games, he had a 3-2-3 goals against and a 900 save percentage. Obviously, part of that has to do with how the defense plays in front of him. Uh, you would hope in this season with Joel Quinville, they're able to kind of straighten it out and play more consistent uh, defense in front of them. And if they're able to do that with having Gudis, with having uh, others come in, and kind of just be the the straight up defensive guys. Anton Strollman's a nice veteran as well. Um, it will be interesting. It will be interesting how a guy like Riley Stillman can come in and play. So uh, it's going to be interesting down there in Florida with their defense as well. When it comes to uh, non defenders, you obviously have a great other goaltender and Spencer Knight coming up, and another one that the Panthers have found in the seventh round in uh, Devin Levi. I mean, congratulations to Panthers fans for having two goalies. They're creating a nice little goalie factory down there, and I think that's a very good idea. You can never have enough very good goalies. And then Grigory uh, Denisenko, um, who came over from the KHL, he's a good playmaker for the future, whether he's up this year or not. He's a 20-year-old. Uh, he'll be interesting to watch. Owen Tippett had a good uh, AHL season with 40 points. Uh, it's got to be his time to shine soon. Uh, Alexi Sorella is likely going to see some time in the uh, K or, excuse me, the KHL, the, a uh, the NHL this year. Um, because he established himself as a very solid uh, center in the AHL with a very nice cannon of a shot that can definitely probably be a nice bottom six player potentially. But Florida, their big thing is going to be how their defense plays and improves from this year or from last year to this year, and really how Bob is able to play and how Chris Dreiger is able to play as Bob's backup. Because we know with a season like this, the backup goalie is going to be huge because of these back to back games and at times even three straight uh, games. So, I mean, it's going to be very interesting uh, how this season's put together for the Panthers. I think they're just right on the outside looking in. That's where I had them. Uh, I had them at six. But anywhere with the Jackets, Preds, Panthers, they're kind of the intertwined teams with the uh, Tampa Bay, Canes, and Stars are who I have at the top of that division. But I think they're going to have a very exciting team. They have Knight very close. Uh, obviously, Anton Lundell, uh, who some people questioned uh, him coming into the draft just because of health, not skill. And uh, I think he's obviously showing out and showing up so far. He had a great World Juniors, and uh, congratulations for that as well. And then you have Henrik uh, Borgstrom, who uh, with early struggles, uh, he has a well-rounded game. But uh, he's inconsistent but has a decently high ceiling still because of his overall uh, skill set of his well-rounded game. So can Henrik Borgstrom... Uh, become something as well, and then Alexi Sorello. They have you have little pieces, and then you brought in a nice veteran in Patrick Winkris, Alexander Wenberg as well. So I think uh, obviously you brought in guys that have familiarity with Bobrovsky. So that is a very very solid and good decision there as well. So I really commend them for being able to do that. But I still think Florida in this division is going to be just on the outside looking in. But what can get them in is guys like Riley Stillman, guys like Mackenzie Weger really continuing to step up, and whoever's going to end up really stepping up uh, for Keith Yandel. Uh, 
on the defensive end if that if that's uh somebody they picked up in a Noah Yulson they like that they claimed off of waivers or um who they think if they want Prisky or keep her up kept her in there uh I mean I'm not sure uh what they're thinking there but uh it's interesting that the Yandel thing they have a, having a fallen out with him that's something that's become one of the most interesting thing for me to watch but uh, it is what it is. I don't agree with the way they handle Keith, handle and Keith Yondel right now, but uh, they're figured out and they got a solid team coming into this year. New Navarro was also obviously a pickup that has familiarity with Bobrovsky, so you brought in people that know Bob well. So I think that's a good decision. But I think they're just on the outside looking in. But I hope everyone has a great, safe, and pleasant night. It is one day countdown. The season starts tomorrow. It is going to be great. Everybody stay safe and please like comment and subscribe hit the bell at the bottom this has been the florida panthers season preview on sports fanatic news have a great and safe pleasant night people peace out